This video is going to demonstrate to you how to create formulas that will calculate VAT um, for two reasons. The first reason, if you have the net amount, and then also if it's the total amount including VAT that you have, because the calculations are quite different. Um, when I'm putting in formulas, I always colour the cells that are going to contain the formulas in yellow, usually, um, just to indicate that you don't need to fill in those, those cells just makes it a bit clearer for you when you're looking at a spreadsheet with lots of columns. Um, so to calculate the VAT on £10 or on any value, you would just put in the formula, or we'll start with equals, and then just click onto the cell that contains the net value, and then multiply by, if it's going to be VAT, it would be um, 0.2, which is the decimal of 20%, and then just press enter. Um, so that formula now is going to calculate 20% of whatever value is in cell B4. So if we change that to £100, then that VAT would adjust to £20. The gross will always be just the sum of those two, so we might as well just use the auto sum formula. So if we go to the formulas menu, auto sum, and it guesses for us quite rightly that we want to add up B4 and C4, so we can just press enter. Okay, and then we can just copy down those formulas. And then we can carry on and just add in the net amounts so if we had a receipt for £23, the VAT on that would be £4.60 and the total would be £27.60. So when you have the net amount of the of the, the value, then it's really easy to do. If you have the gross value, it gets more difficult. So in this instance, it will be the net and the VAT columns that will get calculated. So in here, if we actually received 120, uh, sorry, if we paid out £120, same as this example here, then the VAT, we would need to work out how much of that £120 was VAT. Um, the mathsy bit of doing this calculation is, in this instance, the VAT we know is 20%. If the net always started at 100%, then that makes the gross of 120%. So in this instance, if that's 120%, we can put in a formula here, where we do equals that value, divide it by 120, which would give us... 1% and then multiply it by 20 which would give us 20%. So in that instance the VAT is calculated at £20 which is the same as that calculation there. So that looks like it's working well. So that's your formula, it's going to be equals H4, so this, this cell here, divided by 120 and multiplied by 20. And then the net will be again a very simple calculation of equals whatever's in the gross column minus the VAT. So the net is working out at £100, which is the same as this calculation here, so we know that that's right. And again, we can copy those formulas into the remainder of those columns. And then in, in this column, we could put in that gross amount of £27.60, just to check that it's working correct. And yeah, it's working out £4.60 VAT, which is the same, and then £23 net, which is the same. Okay, so those formulas are quite different to each other. Um, so that's just how, how you would calculate both of those items. Um, this example is using VAT, but you could just as easily use it if you've got um, prices where you want to add a commission on or profit percentages, or you've got a price including um, profit that you want to strip out again. Um, you would literally just amend that 20 value to whatever the commission value would be. Okay, I hope that helps. Thank you.